Hi guys, welcome. Super excited to make one of my favorite items, which are charcuterie board. If you don't know, my name is Liz. I'm the owner and founder of Atop Hall, if you don't know how it's spelled, one of the popular event brands in Bermuda. So today we'll be making a charcuterie board with lots of different items. The best part about this is you can choose whatever your favorite items are. And we'll be including two of my favorite brands that I used to love as a child, which are Cheez-Its and Pringles. So, okay, let's get started. So I guess the first question is, what do I need to create a charcuterie board at home? So the great part about this is that you can use any ingredients that you love. These are some of my favorites besides for olives, but I wanted to make sure I had something that everyone loved on the board. And then also making sure you have the correct equipment. So I've got this really beautiful board that I got from Chef Shop in Bermuda, or another hack, you can actually use cling film Put it over your countertop or in your living room or wherever you're looking to entertain and put all the items directly on there. At the end, you can literally just wrap it all up and put it in a bin. So whichever preference, it's gonna be really, really beautiful. So one of the key features of a grazing board is to make sure that you have a diversity of color so that the board actually looks like a rainbow or as close to it as possible. So we have an array of ingredients over here and um, we have some fruits, some veg, some dips, meats, literally whatever. You can put it on the board. And then we have some really great items from Cheez-It and Pringles that we'll put on here and the equipment. So it's important to have various vessels so that you can put different bits and pieces on the board. So I have these clear little vases, these small wooden bowls that resemble bell peppers, super, super cute these white bowls here, and then different little tools to sort of cut the various pieces or to pick up pieces. So you can get this literally from your local home store or similar. So this is what we'll be using, but feel free to just look in your cupboards and put everything on the display or if you want to ditch all of these items, you can literally just do a flat board without any of the equipment. So it's your choice. Okay, so to assemble the board, it's literally freestyle for me. So just follow along if this is your first time or you've had a hand at this before. Literally, we just start by putting down different bits and pieces. So the first piece I'll put down is this chia butter baguette and I'm just gonna put it diagonally across the board. You can get any sort of like bread or rolls it just helps to start the board. Next, I'm gonna put down some fresh grapes here. Nice little cluster. And then another little cluster there. And let's go to some of the exciting items. I'm gonna start with my favorite personal snack. This cheese that is literally like in my cupboard every week. They're so tasty and yeah, they're just such a good snack. So, let's see. So we can put a little bit here. Literally can just dump them there. And I've never seen these before, but they look really cool and it's just nice to have something for everyone on the board. So I'm gonna try these Cheez-It grooves for the first time. So we've got a variation of Cheez-Its here. So we'll leave that just as is. And then we will start with some fruit. We've got some nice grapefruit here. So I'm gonna just cut it, just slice in half, right onto the board really nice for color and then just like spread it around. So as you see, it's very freestyle. There's no wrong or right way to do this. So don't be nervous to try this at home and have a little bit of fun if you're entertaining for Super Bowl, which is coming up. I have no idea who the teams are, but everyone goes for the food and the drinks, right? Um, let's see. You can do this for Father's Day. I think guys love a good grub with beers and drinks. Or just because, you can just get your friends together because why not? Um, we've got some brie cheese here, so I'm gonna put that here. 
I'm gonna start to like cluster this up. I might actually put that in one of these little bowls. So as we start to continue to construct the board, you can see how we want to do things. So I see I wanna put the cheese it's in this clear vessel here so that you can actually see what's in it. So we'll do that, dump them in. Just looks really cute as well. Okay, how cute is this little piece? So literally you can do that. So that's there. And then we have some chicken wings, which I feel like is, yeah, a non-starter for any charcuterie board that's gonna be for a game day. So I'm just gonna like put a cluster here and you can sort of split up some of the items so that everyone sort of can have a bit of the board. So you don't wanna put everything in one sort of section. And just like that's fine. I'm gonna put some over here. So it's coming together. It's very therapeutic for me making this board, guys. So usually not in front of the camera, but you can do this like with friends as well if you want an activity to do, or you can quickly pull together this board. If you're entertaining on the weekend or for a special holiday. So the wings are there. I think I'm gonna put the other Cheez-Its in here. Any excess bits that we don't use, I'll just put on this plate. So we'll do that. And the beauty of the board is that you can just add and subtract over and over. So I never feel stuck to just play around with the board or remove something. So that will go there. And then what shall we use next? We have some pre-made tuna, so you can buy this at the supermarket or you can make it yourself. So we'll just put that directly onto the board like that. And if you can see, I'm sort of building a color wheel. So we've got this white dish with the like very like minimal color from the tuna. And then we've contrasted it with this grapefruit, with the strawberries and grapes. So you just wanna keep planting color all across the board so that you don't have like a cluster of like all the same colors. So I think we can also, let's see, put some celery down. It's good to see which items are complementary. So I'll put some celery next to the wings so that people that are eating wings most likely want a piece of celery. I don't like celery to be honest, but I know some people do. So it's good to give people options. So we'll put some celery sticks there. You can put music on in the background if you're just doing this by yourself. So I've got some celery on there. Okay, what shall we do next? These crackers are really tasty. Um, I found a really cool thing as well on the back of this brand. There's a full ingredients list if you want to make like this board at home and you need a bit of inspiration or instruction. They have a really detailed list. So. They mentioned there's crackers, meats, cheeses, complements. So that's sort of the basis for any board. You just wanna make sure you have a little bit of each of these items. So I'm gonna open up the crackers and then figure out where I should put them by the reds and the greens. So literally like that. Um, some more, little bit all across the board. And then carrots, but I get some veggie on the board. So put some orange right here. Actually that does not look good. So we'll put some carrots there. And some green can go over here. You can do little clusters of three. Sometimes less is more. So doing three looks pretty good. You can just put three there. 
So as I mentioned, there should be something for everyone, for vegans, pescatarians, tuna, um, or whatever the other food groups are. I don't even remember, but the key is just to put a little bit of everything on the board so everyone can find something, including children. So, Pringles. Not sure what your favorite Pringles are, but mine is, I think, the barbecue. I do like the original. So, some chips on the board. Never hurt anyone, so put a little bit of chips on. Let's see. We'll put the chips by the... Hmm. Just put some chips here for now. So, keep moving things around. Got some cherry tomatoes. So we want to keep incorporating bursts of color to balance and contrast with the other items. So if you'd like to use some salami pieces, these smaller cuts are a great fit. And you can also make smaller rose shapes by folding it in half, folding it again, and then keep sort of repeating the process until you have a few and then we'll put it on the board. So I will continue to do that. So just fold them up. I'm just gonna put these together like here. I'm gonna use a bit more of these cheddar. I think we're just about done, guys. Just going to add some more of our tools. So this is the cute little honey wand that I got from Chef Shop. I don't have honey on the board, but you can add it. And I'm just gonna like put it next to the brie because it looks really nice. So it's just an accessory. And then this cute little wooden um, cheese knife can be used, let's see where. I like can put it in the tuna dip so that people have easy tools to if they want to start like building their own snacks. So you want to think strategically of like how will people pick up the tuna, the guac. So I'm going to make sure there's tools next to all of them. And then for the smaller bits of cheddar, I've cut them up in cubes so it's easy for people to reach. But if you haven't cut up the cheese, do make sure that you use knives or spoons so that people can um, dip up easily. So I'm going to just use that little knife there and then for the brie for this bread you would typically just cut it in advance but because it's just a decorative piece if people want to mash it up at the end that's fine but I decided not to cut it up because it's more of a decorative piece for us so I think that is everything um, are we missing anything like if you have anything like prepped you can just literally drop the last few pieces on there so that you don't waste and we're literally finishing up it doesn't take too long you can do this yeah with whatever you have at home so i hope you guys enjoyed the demonstration be sure to collect your favorite cheeses or pringles or any of the other fruits and veggies and dips whatever your favorite items are the world is yours my favorites on here are probably the guacamole i like the brie Cheez-Its, of course. I love a chicken wing, so I definitely would have a snack and have that. Um, carrot, celery, not really my favorite, but again, you can put whatever you want on here that, you know, um, suits your palate. And if you missed it, as I mentioned, these toasted crackers by Kellogg's have a really easy to follow instruction guide of what ingredients you can put on your board. So if you need further direction, this is great. And I hope that you have fun entertaining. I love entertaining. I love being with my friends and family. And it's just so nice to create memories with people. So happy charcuterie board making, guys.